the Emperor Reduce trial investigated the effects of SGLT2 inhibitor empagliflozin in patients with heart failure and a reduced ejection fraction with and without diabetes. Half of the patients in the trial did not have diabetes. Half did have diabetes. We randomly assigned 3,730 patients with heart failure and an ejection fraction less than 40% to receive empagliflozin 10 milligrams once daily or placebo and followed them for an average of 16 months. We specified three major endpoints in the trial. And I'm very pleased to tell you that we achieved all three endpoints. Empagliflozin reduced the risk of cardiovascular death or hospitalization for heart failure by 25%. Empagliflozin reduced the total number of hospitalizations for heart failure by 30%. And empagliflozin slowed the decline in renal function over time and reduced the risk of serious adverse renal events by 50%. And what's very, very important is we achieved all three endpoints uh, at a, was clinically very important, statistically highly significant, and the effect was the same in people with or without diabetes. And the safety profile of the drug was excellent. Uh, we had uh, a few more genital, uh, uh, genital uh, uh, tract infections in the empagliflozin group, but we had no hypotension, no hypovolemia, no volume depletion, no hypoglycemia, none of the traditional side effects of uh, conventional heart failure drugs. And we saw these benefits on top of all appropriate conventional therapy. So uh, we think that uh, this trial, together with a prior trial with dapagliflozin uh, in a similar patient population, but with less severe disease, that these two trials establish dapagliflozin and empagliflozin as a new standard of care in patients with heart failure and a reduced ejection fraction with or without diabetes.